Hey guys, welcome to our video. This is on your second option, which is fighting the lawsuit, the collection lawsuit on your own. So let's talk about this for a second. The company that's suing you is the plaintiff. They might be Capital One, might be Midland Funding, whoever it is, they are suing you. And so by fighting that lawsuit, you file a response, typically an answer to that lawsuit. And then you may go through something called summary judgment, but ultimately you go to trial. And at trial, the plaintiff, that's the one suing you, again, Midland Funding, Capital, uh, Capital One, whoever it is, they bear what's called the burden of proof, which all that means is it's their obligation to prove that they are right. So in other words, if they put enough evidence where the judge or the jury says, I don't know, you know, it's kind of a flip of a coin, it's 50-50, well, that's not enough. It's got to be more than that. They have to prove the fancy term is preponderance of the evidence. OK, kind of like got scales of justice and it just slightly tilts a little bit. That's what they have to do. So by fighting it, you're putting them to that test. Now, what are the advantages of fighting it? Well, first of all, you're not paying them any money unless you lose. OK, second, you're not paying a lawyer any money. And third, you retain control over this. So you're not relying on a lawyer. You're not relying on anybody else. You're relying on yourself. Now, what are the disadvantages? Well, kind of the way we ended it, you're relying on yourself, okay? And is this something that you do? Is this something that you're willing to put the time, the effort, the energy into to learn how to do this and to research the law, to research how things work in court? So it's all on you. Another disadvantage is the other side will have a lawyer. Obviously, you don't have a lawyer if, if you're choosing option number two, which is fight it without a lawyer. And so you're at a bit of a disadvantage there. And so you have to weigh these things. And as you evaluate this option and your other options, total of five options, you've got to weigh this option and say, does this make sense? So let me give you some practical advice. If you say, I have very, very little time, I am like, maxed out in terms of energy, effort, time. I do have money, okay? I'm not just thrilled about paying money, but I've got money. Well, then I would look at a different option, okay? Now, let's reverse that. And you say, look, I, I don't have any extra money. There's no way I can get any money. I'm just totally tapped out on money. I got, I got no money to pay, but I have time. Maybe I've been laid off. Maybe I'm retired. Maybe I'm on disability, whatever it is. I've got time. I'm willing to research things, learn things, practice, rehearse. I'm willing to do all these things. Well, then this might be the best option for you. It also depends on what court you're in. So I'm going to use Alabama as an example. If you're in small claims court, that is definitely something that you do not have to have a lawyer for. If you're in the in essence, the next court and, and really district court and small claims are all one court, but they have separate rules. So I'll, I'll just call it that way. If you're in district court, again, that's something you can handle on your own. If you're in the highest court, circuit court, that's where we do jury trials for car wreck cases, nursing home malpractice cases, things like that. You can do it. OK, you, you legally have the right to represent yourself. I'm telling you, that's very difficult. And I'm not saying it's easy to represent yourself in district court or small claims court, but it's easier than in circuit court. So the sort of the level of rules, the complexity, they just get more and more as you go up the level of court. And that makes it more challenging because you have to either know those rules or learn the rules. So this can be a valid option. Over the years, we've helped, I don't know, hundreds of people that have been able to fight their lawsuit on their own without hiring a lawyer, be successful. And look, it's great for me because sometimes those people come back to me and say, hey, I won my case and I still got this false credit reporting or this or that happened. And then we're able to sue. And so that's wonderful. OK, so it's an option. OK, it's not a good option or a bad option. It's just an option. Then you have to decide if it applies to you. So in our previous video, we talked about bankruptcy. This one we've talked about fighting the lawsuit on your own. The next video, video number three, will be settling the lawsuit without hiring a lawyer. You do it on your own. So I'll catch you in that video. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.